Hey, what's up guys? Thrill Seeker Man 01 coming at you with a brand new sailboat video. And if you guys are just barely tuning into my channel, be sure to to like my videos and hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted to all my future coming videos whenever they come online. I know it's been a long time since my last sailboat video and I, I am about to explain why. You see, I've never told you guys what I do for work. And I will get to that shortly. But for now, I will talk about the sailboat. Now, since I've been here this time, I have done quite a bit of work today and yesterday. I uh, got the previous name removed from the sailboat. So it makes it officially my sailboat now. The previous name is gone. I peeled it off. Previous owner just stuck it on there with stickers. So all I had to do was get this heat gun right here and burn the stickers peel them right off but um there are still sticker marks on there so i'm gonna have to come back with sandpaper and paint but either way i'm eventually gonna end up repainting the boat anyway so anyway now let me get to what i do for work and this right here is why i haven't been here last time i was here before was before thanksgiving and this is why that right there is my semi. I am an over-the-road truck driver. I drive for Swift Transportation. As you can see, it's a pretty big truck. Now for the sleeper, you got the top bunk, which is the, the top window, and then the bottom bunk is the bottom window. There's, and yes, there is a bunk bed in there. It's huge. <coughs> yeah, anyway, that's what I do for work. I'm always out on the road when I'm not living in this, I'm living in that. So, let me take you down now and I will show you the inside of my semi. Be warned, it's a little messy on the inside because I just got some more supplies the other day, so there's a lot of stuff in there. Let me take you down the ladder. Those of you who have never seen the inside of a semi, well guess what, you're about to. Alright. Pretty basic here, you got the driver's seat. Yeah, it's a little messy in here. But yeah, when I am not aboard Marahute, I am living in here. You got my bed right there, top bunk, storage. Yeah, I do apologize for the mess. That tends to happen when you live in here. And that's probably going to tend to happen a little bit on my sailboat. But I'm going to do as best as I can not to let my sailboat get this messy. But, yeah, I got a 8-speed manual transmission. It's, it's pretty fun. I mean, literally, it's, it really is 8 forward gears. It's, it's awesome to drive. But anyway... Yeah, I got my TV back there. It's laid down right now. I might watch a movie later today. I got my PS3 and my PS4 over there. Got some candy bars. Got to throw these in my trash bag right there. That I keep behind the driver's seat. But yeah, as you can see, I recently went to Walmart. Got some Lipton and some Gatorades. But yeah, I am still in Deltaville Boatyard. And I had to drive the semi here because last time I came, I had trouble finding transportation back to Richmond. So I finally just asked my boss if I could just take my truck home with me this time. And it worked out a lot better. So now, back to the sailboat. So, as I told you earlier, I got the name peeled off. It was just stickers on there, so I got to come back with sandpaper, sand this off repaint it and then after that I will paint on the new name which if you guys are just tuning in the new name of my boat will be Marahute that's what I will be painting on but I already call her Marahute anyway but yeah but yeah, if you're tuning in now, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my videos for future uploads so you can know what comes up in the future. There will be many 
future sailboat videos to come. But yeah, for those of you who have just tuned in, this is my boat. It is a 1975 Hunter 30. It is a Cherubini design masthead sloop. She's got a shoulder draft down there. Center board needs to be replaced, which I will have that done. Probably gonna have new through holes put in just to be safe, reseal the bottom. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, let's go back on board. Get up the ladder here without killing myself. All right. As you can see, I got both the hatches open. I'm trying to ventilate the inside of my boat, keep it from getting all humid and muggy. But yeah, now that I got the hatches open, you can actually see what the inside of my boat really does look like. <clears throat> Up here, you got the V-berth, the disgusting head, which will be fixed. And that, that toilet in there will be replaced with a compost toilet and everything, but... Now, earlier today, I scrubbed out a lot of mold. That's another thing I was doing while I was here. I, uh, I scrubbed that, I scrubbed the whole ceiling, that cabinet, those cupboards over there. I basically, basically came in here with a bucket of hot water, a sponge, and Clorox, and pretty much just went to town. But one thing you should know about being a liveaboard is mold always happens. You just have to stay ahead of it. Otherwise, it will overwhelm you. And then, yeah, you can pretty much see where I'm going with that. But it, it was pretty bad since I was gone for months. So that, that cabinet over there was so moldy, it was pretty much turning black. And I got all that off. Pretty much that all the wood in here started turning black, but I scrubbed it all down. But the ceiling in here, that's fiberglass, but I'm talking about the wooden fixtures. It was all, it was disgusting. So I came in here, hot water, sponge. Hot water was mixed with Clorox and pretty much just went to town. Got her cleaned out. She's looking really nice again. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with me. So yeah, be sure to like the videos, leave a comment down below. Feel free to leave any comment. And subscribe to my videos so you can see all the future videos that are to come. And there will be many more sailboat videos to come. I promise you that. Whenever I get the chance, I'm, I'm always coming over here doing videos, working on the boat. And I do still plan on getting her in the water this year. So, yeah. So, yeah, be sure to subscribe to stay updated with all my videos. And I will see you next time. See you.